All right, welcome back to my opinion. Um, I just tried to do this video and uh, um, didn't work. I don't know. But anyway, this, this video is going to be about Caribbean cruises and if they're safe or not. Uh, my opinion, no. If I was going to do a cruise, I'd probably want to do like Alaska or something like that. Um, the problem with the Caribbean, the cruise ships, and I'm not talking about COVID or anything. I'm talking about crime. Uh, a lot of people would be surprised to learn that the islands in the Caribbean, and not just Jamaica, uh, you know, your typical Haiti, of course, um, uh, Dominican Republic, uh, but but islands like St. Maria, I think that's what it's called, and many of the others, have crime. You know, what you see at the resort, when you get off the ship, the cruise ship, and you go to the resort, you're going to an area that's um, safer, protected. It is by the locals. Keep that in mind. Um, where the rich, fat Americans get to see the best of. You need to keep that in mind. What a lot of people do, and I have friends that do this, they'll go off the resorts and go into the local town to see the culture and everything. And I get that. And I would like to do that too, but I would be very weary of doing that. You have to remember to a lot of these people in these countries, in these islands and stuff in the Caribbean, we are rich, fat, white Americans. Even though you may have worked for Ford and been saving for this for a year, to them, you are a rich, fat, white American, okay? Um, and there's a lot of hatred, a lot of, you know, they, they look at us, especially when you're one of those people that's complaining because you're, pina, you're sending your pina colada back because it doesn't have enough pineapple juice in it. Meanwhile, he leaves the resort, your server, you know, that works there, he leaves the resort at night to go home to his family in his shanty little house and all he's trying to do is buy some beans to take home because I guarantee they're not paid very much at all. <clears throat> it's the reason why they use the locals to pay them almost nothing. You just need to be aware of where you're at, where you're going and understand that at any given moment you know, a coup could take place. I mean, look at Haiti. And suddenly you're in the midst of a revolution. And people start storming that resort hotel. And this has happened before. And start robbing you or worse. A lot of resentment by these people, okay? And that's not saying anything bad against them. You know, it's a, it's a natural thing that people do this. When, when they're living in shacks and struggling to provide food and they just got done being bitched at because by some fat-ass rich American who is complaining about his pina colada not tasting the way he prefers... I mean, you know, and these cruise ships, if you think you're safe on cruise ships, you are not. Stuff happens on these cruise ships all the time, and the cruise lines hide it. They get busted for this all the time. People fall off ships. All you got to do, rob somebody and flip them over the rail in the middle of the night. They're gone. A lot of times you're in international waters, too. Um, remember, your security and the police are all locals. They might be joining in that revolution as well. You know, you're probably safer on the cruise ship than you are in the little local town, the resort that you want to get off and go explore. But 
and I'm not saying don't do it, but what I am saying is just be aware of what, what you're doing. You're going into a local village or a local town to see the culture and try the food. There's going to be people that there that resent you. Most of the Caribbean is third world. Americans don't seem to understand that. And you just have to understand a lot can happen. A coup at any given moment, a revolution could take place. This stuff happens all at once. You know, a lot of people don't even understand Puerto Rico is, 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 has a lot of crime. And that's, you know, a, a province or something like that. It's not a state. I think it's a commonwealth. I'm not sure. It, it's something like that to the United States. But there's a lot of issues and a lot of resentment. You just need to be aware of that. I've got friends who went to Colombia off that cruise ship. Venezuela. I'm just like blown away that you're going to do that. I mean, these places, look at Venezuela. I mean, wow. You'd have to be insane to get, to get off that ship and go to Venezuela in this day and age. Uh, I think I had one friend that actually got off and toured the Honduras. Honduras. Uh, and, and beautiful places, don't get me wrong. And you're seeing the resort. You're not seeing those shacks that those people work in and have to go home to every day while you're complaining about your pina colada. Okay? You know, and went to, to tour a little town in the Honduras, a beautiful little village to see the culture. Do you not know that there's thousands of people from Honduras who travel, risk their lives up through Mexico, up through Central America to get to the United States so that they can work for minimum wage? That should tell you how bad it is there. But anyway, this is all my opinion. Like, share, and subscribe. Just be aware of where you're going. Uh, think about it when you're that next time you're you're planning on a cruise, a, a Caribbean cruise. And I get it. It's beautiful, the islands, etc. Blah blah blah. But just remember, they're not showing you everything. You're not seeing behind the scenes. And if, especially if you're going to go behind the scenes, you better be well aware of what you're walking into. Like, share, and subscribe. Be safe and stay safe.